it is just because of lack of ability to speak. But given chance, these trees would tell you how happy they are. This is because the natural surrounding near them is well protected and nature is not angry. However, when nature chooses to speak with anger, one will not just hear, but experience something similar to this. The after effects are often evidenced in disaster, catastrophe and destruction. Fingers are always pointed at human encroachment of the ecosystem as one of the main drivers for such calamity. It has been clearly demonstrated that for us to tackle the declining environmental quality and loss of biodiversity, we must demonstrate the linkage between biodiversity and people's livelihoods and addressing stressors. This is the time for us to act. To ensure we do those activities, we undertake those activities that put back to nature, that conserve nature, that ensure sustainable utilization of the components of nature, but also that reflect the livelihood concerns of our people. In the wake of the predicted above normal rains in the next three months, environmental experts are worried of what awaits ecosystem encroachers. Above normal means more water. And therefore, more water means more problems. So we expect more challenges to come in the future in environmental sources. It is on that basis that World Environment Day focuses on paying attention to protecting nature across the globe. Time for Nature is the international theme for the year 2020, with Uganda's locally adopted theme being within the same line. Nature is speaking. Listen. Mother Nature has sustained, has sustained life for centuries, but human activities have degraded it to a crisis level. Encroachment on wetlands, lake shores and river banks, as well as destruction of forest cover, spells doom for those in doubt. Unfortunately, despite the rising water levels on Lake Victoria and other water bodies, natives living around seem adamant on the idea of relocation. To this, Beatrice Anuar has a word for them. Nature should be handled with utmost care and responsibility for us to benefit from it and services that it provides. Ugandans, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for nature. And nature is speaking. Can we listen? Observing World Environment Day in Uganda was also characterized by the launch of the recently enacted National Environment Act of 2019. To add to the procedures in there, an air quality regulation is also in offing to complement government efforts in ensuring a pollution-free environment. Henry Okrut, UBC.